Flimping Football Club, founded in 1947, home to the first in reserves playing Sussex County football. Although being in a small village, the club itself has big potential. At the end of the 2012-13 season, player manager Paul Lawrence stepped down and Brett Farrell, previous under-18s manager, took on the role as reserves manager, bringing some young talent along with him. The team, now run by Brett, with physio Mark Hilton, coach Tom Henton, will cover progressing and pushing on and winning with a strong side. Clinton reserves in the last three games have had a win, a draw and a loss. A very even team. It takes me about 25 minutes to do my hair. It comes out perfect every single time. There's no way I'm going to Jersey without my hair gel. I can't leave without my gel. I didn't say not to act like a man, mate. Self-obsessed with your image, make your hair spray. From losing 6-2 versus Milo in the cup, Klimping held their heads high and went on to beat rival Rustington FC 2-0 in the league. Um, so you're playing Rustington Football Club today at home. What do you expect the score to be? Uh, I don't know. We're both at the same level on the table. Um, we're at home, so maybe that could be an advantage. So, I don't know. Hopefully we'll get a win about 3-0, 3-2. Goals from John Lawson and Sam Fanning. The table stands being very close, as the season being early doors, Clinton plotting mid-table, being 7, 12 points, playing 11 games. Uh, can you name a highlight of your uh, career at Klimping? No. <laughs> <laughs> Storrington FC, who are top of the table, with 17 points and two games behind the blues, it shows how tight the table is with to sneak up there. What's the most memorable goal you've scored playing um, for Klimping? When, when we played Chichester, and um, I think Whitey and Jordan were involved just knocking it about then got whipped in headed it and scored Paddy Gibbs, aged 43 playing centre back said turning off on a Saturday with the bare 11 travelling as far as Crawley can be quite tough to handle as you know it will be a struggle but as a team we're all in the same boat so we deal with it and put in 110% the club being financially bad at the moment players put this to one side and show teams that money isn't an issue the unnoticeable reserves youngest player Ronnie Shuri has had a strong season at left wing linking up with players in the upper field but we all still wonder why such a talent of his age is playing in a reserve side the club believe that the passion of the game is what he loves and why change something when you love it Overall, the clubs in um, Sussex, what made you pick Klimping? Um, it's quite quite close to where I live. There's, there's been a good history and uh, a few friends play Idea, bro, that'll get the girls up. Wait, while you're at it, put your shirt back on. No one gives a f For Klimping, are you involved in the community? Yeah, I suppose. Do a bit of fundraising sometimes, like. I've done a sponsored silence for like 10 hours once, raised about £60 for the Clinton Football Club, it's good. Ronnie not coming from a footballing background, it shows how hard a player has to work to make it to the top, practicing an hour after training every day, also going into the gym and working on fitness, shows how a true player has determination and some drive to be the best.